CLR is one of Europe's largest and most advanced research institutions. Its research fields, aeronautics, space, transport, and energy. Research often requires large-scale facilities, wind tunnels, test rigs, antennas and much more. More and more aircraft are underway. It's getting crowded, in the air and especially also at airports. How can it be arranged that all these machines take off and land on time, and especially safely? A challenge, especially for the air traffic controllers in the tower. To make this job easier for them, DLR is developing new equipment and new landing procedures, and first testing them in simulators before they're put into operation. That is also the case for new cockpit systems. At the same time, passengers, in this case dummies undergoing an air conditioning test, should be as comfortable as possible when they travel. Tomorrow's airplane is already flying on the computer. Aircraft can be designed with the help of incredibly powerful computers and their flight behavior tested even before they're built. Not to mention wind tunnel tests and test beds for checking out new materials or new engines and fuels. The goal? Tomorrow's aircraft need to be especially quiet, fuel efficient and environmentally responsible during flight and extraordinarily safe. But DLR doesn't only develop airplanes, it uses them in research too. For example, to study our environment from a high vantage point. Gathering important information also for climate research. Astronautics, that's setting out into space. But whoever wants to investigate space has to get there first. Powerful rockets are needed, like Europe's Ariane. Sometimes there's a much better view from up there. Satellites examine the health of our planet day and night. They warn about bad weather, and in the case of forest fires or other natural disasters, they can give the rapid response teams on the ground life-saving information. Satellites also help us find our way to destinations on Earth. No vehicle navigation system could operate without them. The International Space Station, ISS. It's as large as a soccer field. Weightlessness reigns here. That's a golden research opportunity for experiments that cannot be carried out on Earth. Robots are intended to make life easier for astronauts, 
and these high-tech assistants can also be useful on Earth. Our solar system. We can explore our cosmic neighborhood with probes. Was there ever life on Mars? It looks like it. A camera developed by DLR reveals dried out riverbeds. Could life have developed there too? This important question is not yet answered. And is there life on other heavenly bodies? The search has only begun. The number of cars on our streets keeps increasing. How can more and more traffic jams be prevented? And how can driving be made safer at the same time? Modern traffic guidance systems and new vehicle technologies. Those are some of the important topics DLR deals with in transport research. It's also necessary to minimize environmental hazards. Electric cars still need improvement and of course they have to be fueled with green electricity. Already today a next generation train is being developed at DLR. It's supposed to be faster than today's high-speed trains as well as use less energy and make less noise. A secure energy supply is important for us all. Electricity and heating have to stay affordable. And at the same time, we have to consider the environment. Our climate shouldn't be increasingly burdened by more exhaust. So new technologies are being developed at DLR to make power plants even more efficient. Even the interior of flames is being examined with the goal of producing less exhaust. At the same time, we're working on a vision of tomorrow's sustainable energy world. Sun, wind and other renewable resources supply us with energy in abundance. We just have to use them more and perfect the appropriate technologies. For example, solar power plants or optimised wind turbines. Then an environmentally responsible energy supply could be possible. Thus, DLR's efforts in all these research fields Aeronautics Space Transport And energy Yield important knowledge for tomorrow